Right, we're just going to go through the pairing process for the various different types of power line adapters. Uh, the main brands we use are the TP-Link ones, which are the small nano ones here, uh, the pass-through type here, and also the tender ones, which uh, look at these guys here. So uh, they all do exactly the same job, they're just different brands and different types, uh, the way they look, but they all do exactly the same job. They send data over the mains cabling in the house. Um, and if your system is showing offline, it's very common that it's these guys that are not connected to each other. The reason for that is that uh, power surges, power cuts, any uh, fluctuations in the main circuitry, and they will disconnect each other as a, as a safety precaution. And what you'll see there is that the middle light, which is the pairing light, is not showing. So that's, uh, that's saying that they're not talking to each other and your devices are gonna show offline. So to, to pair these up, all you would do is use the pairing button at the bottom here, one brief press on there, and you get the top light blinking. The top light indicates power, but it also indicates that it's in a pairing mode. The middle light is the link, so that's showing if they're linked or not, and the bottom light is showing that they are connected to a device. So when it's plugged into your router or into your CCTV system, if you see the bottom light is on, then you know that they, it is actually connected to a live device. If you don't see the bottom light is on, uh, then whatever it's plugged into is not turned on. So it can be as daft as that your CCTV NVR is unplugged or the power connectors come out or something like that uh, because it's saying it's not actually connected to something that's turned on. So back to this, so we're pairing that up. So I've pressed the pairing button on that one. I'm now gonna press the pairing button on this one and they're gonna to communicate to each other that they are now linked back up. So after the lights are all done blinking, you'll see then that the middle light comes on and that's indicating that these two plugs are now communicating. So your system, be it CCTV uh, or your alarm system, would then show online. Um, be aware with the CCTV systems, it can take up to 15 minutes for them to show online after you've repaired the adapters. So uh, if you've just done it, you just need to keep refreshing your CCTV app until you actually see that it comes online. Um, these plugs obviously will be in different places. So you're going to have the one at the router. You're going to have the other one at your CCTV system, which could be in the loft. Uh, you may have one at your smart alarm system. So uh, if that's the case and you are doing this pairing method with the plug in place, so you're doing this one at the router, but you're doing this one in the loft and they are not linking to each other. So you're pressing the pairing button and it just keeps blinking and it doesn't connect. Then you need to bring the one from the loft down closer to a socket near the CCTV, uh, near the router. So just plug it into a socket that's closer, then you can pair them up and then you can go and pop it back in the loft uh, and it will work. Um, so that's how you do it on this type of plug. Uh, as mentioned earlier, the other TP-Link, you've got the pairing button just on the bottom. It's exactly the same plug. It just has a plug socket on it so you can plug something into it. Um, and the pairing button and reset button is on the bottom of that one. I am just gonna show you the tender one because it's just slightly different way they look. Just bear with me. So the tender ones, you've got the socket on the bottom. So I just plug that in there. And then, so the other one would be the router or the CCTV system. Okay, so these are now plugged in and we've got the bottom light indicating the ethernet is connected. And then the color of the light depends on the quality of the link. It's quite often common for it to start off red um, when it's negotiating and then it goes green when it obviously it picks up a, a better link. Um, if it does stay red, it doesn't necessarily mean that it's um, not going to work. It just means that the quality of the mains cabling is not as good as it would like. So to do a reset, you press and hold the button in at the bottom. It's on the bottom right hand corner of the tenders. So like that, and then the same on the other plug. Okay, so they reset. And then to do the pairing, it's just one press briefly on the bottom of the plug. You get the flashing light in the middle. That means it's in pairing mode. And then when it goes steady, then they are paired. So you're looking at the green light being solid on to, to achieve a good pairing link with the tenders. Um, so that's how you do it with the tender ones. Uh, it doesn't always, it's not always the case that when you've got three lights on that the plug is communicating properly. Um, there can be an IP conflict on the address that the plug is registered to um, and you can get situations where you are showing three lights but you are not still not online, you're still not connected. If that's the case, you need to do the reset procedure. So press and hold the button in on every one of the plugs that you've got. 
um, wait for it, the lights to go out and extinguish and then do the pairing process again. So a brief press on each plug to get them to pair back up. After you've done that, then the communication link will come through. Um, another brief one is that you may have more of these plugs. So if you've got a garage or an outbuilding, um, you may have an extra one of these in there that sends the signal from the cameras that are located in the outbuilding back to the main house. So you may need to pair up three of these devices or even four of them if you've got an alarm as well. Um, to get them all to communicate. The master plug will always be the one at the router and then the other ones are the slaves. So um, you must make sure the router one is still plugged back in at the router and then the other one goes to the CCTV system or the outbuildings or the alarm system. Hopefully that all makes sense. Uh, any questions you can get in contact with us at support at smartandsecurehomes.co.uk uh, where we can give you help and assistance. Um, but thank you for watching.